Bruce Wayne is somebody that I've looked up to ever since I was a little boy. I remember as a kid thinking how cool it would be to be someone like Bruce Wayne. When I was playing Lego Batman, I was playing a flying level. And in that flying level, I was playing as Bruce Wayne flying his own private jet. I would then switch to the Batwing as Batman. And when the mission was over, you know, you come back to stately Wayne Manor. And look at all of the bookshelves he had. He had his own library and trophies from his accomplishments. And then go straight down to the Batcave an underground lair filled with everything I would ever want. He had his own fighter jet. He had a hovercraft, an insane Batmobile, all surrounding this really cool bat computer where he would do most of his work. But still, I could never imagine myself reaching the same level as him. As I grew, I became even more inspired by him. But this was more focused around his strength, his intelligence, his charisma, his character, the ability that he had to control a room full of powerful people with just his charisma alone, his discipline in pushing himself past his limits time and time again, his ideal physique, and above all his character. At the end of the day, he was always just a good person who would always do the right thing no matter what. So one year ago, I made a video on how to become Bruce Wayne someone that I look up to. Now what's really interesting is I made this video only one year ago and something stuck out to me. It just hit me one day after seeing my own progress over the year. I genuinely think it really is possible to become someone like Bruce Wayne. Now what hit me was when I started talking about Bruce Wayne's progression in this video. How he went from just a shy kid to the charismatic and extroverted Bruce Wayne that we all know. It was very clear to see this progression over many movies. Now the part the part that really hit me, however, was seeing that shy kid at the end of the video. Completely uncomfortable on camera, his hair is in his face, he's going like this because he, he just can't keep a straight frame on camera because he's so nervous. And I just realized how far you can go in such a short period of time. Over the last year, I really have pushed myself into becoming that charismatic and extroverted version of Bruce Wayne. I've continued to build up my body over the year. I've read countless books and I've studied extremely hard. I continued to build my business and I even achieved certain ratings along with my commercial pilot license which would legally allow me to fly a private jet. Now all I need is the money to buy one and I can start that Lego mission in real life. That's actually kind of crazy. I was flying over Gotham City just like the just like the Lego. Not in a jet though. Now, I certainly am nowhere near where Bruce Wayne is, especially concerning money and fighting ability. But I have realized that it is perfectly reasonable for someone to achieve this as long as they continually push themselves over a long period of time. Especially if you're younger like me. If you're in your teens or early 20s, you still have a good 10 to 20 years before you even reach the same age that Bruce is in the movies. Now, with that being said, I'd like to add on to my previous video with what I've learned over the past year and state six more ways to become like Bruce Wayne. Number one is pushing yourself into uncomfortable situations. As a young man, Bruce Wayne embarked on a journey that would redefine his limits and reshape his destiny, leaving the comforts of his upbringing behind. He ventured into the obscure corners of the globe, seeking mentors who could unlock the potential dormant within him. In the shadows of distant mountains and amid the bustling streets of foreign cities, Bruce immersed himself in the disciplines that tested his endurance, challenged his intellect, and honed his skills. From the icy mountains of the Himalayas to the sweltering deserts of North Africa, he embraced adversity, confronting fears and insecurities head on. It was through this crucible of self-discovery that Bruce transcended his limitations, pushing the boundaries of his own psyche. His determination and resilience became his greatest assets as he mastered the arts of combat, strategy, and stealth. Through the countless trials and tribulations, Bruce Wayne transformed into something more than a man, a symbol of hope hope justice, and relentless determination. And just as he pushed himself beyond his comfort zone during his travels, he continues to do so as Batman. He only became who he was meant to be by pushing himself into uncomfortable situations. As someone who was born into wealth, he never had to do any of this. He could have lived a very secluded and comfortable lifestyle. I mean, he could have done absolutely nothing. It was purely a choice for him to push himself. This is something that I personally embrace fully. As an example, in one of my previous videos, I went around Toronto approaching the wealthiest looking people that I could find. I'm not going to lie to you. At no point during this video was it easy for me 
to approach random people. I wasn't really that confident and yet I still pushed myself to just go up to as many random people as possible and just start talking to them. Even after rejection after rejection and people actually being pretty rude to me. This is how it's done. You have to push yourself to improve your social skills. You think somebody as charismatic as Bruce Wayne just was born with that ability or somebody as muscular as Bruce Wayne was just born with the muscles? No, he pushed himself. He pushed himself into uncomfortable positions non-stop to achieve this level of ability. You have to push yourself like this to improve your social skills. You have to push yourself into new cultures to learn their language. You have to push yourself in the gym physically to build that muscle. You have to push your body. The only way to actually become more like Bruce Wayne is to constantly push yourself into uncomfortable positions where you don't want to do something, where you might tell yourself, I'll do it tomorrow because it's uncomfortable, or where you might give yourself an excuse as to why you're not doing something because it's uncomfortable. You have to tell your brain to shut the f*** up. You need to constantly push your comfort zone and constantly improve yourself. Number two is being in a constant state of improvement and having your ideals always changing. At the beginning of Batman Begins, Bruce Wayne gets a concealed revolver and hides it in his sleeve to get revenge on the man that killed his parents. He waits outside the courthouse to kill the man, but never gets the chance as someone else kills him as Bruce Wayne approaches him. This seems so out of character for Bruce Wayne or Batman, as we know Batman as someone who has one very strong strict rule. He would never kill. The point I'm trying to make here is that he is someone who is constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly rethinking his beliefs and challenging them, constantly pushing himself to become better day after day. And as a result, year to year, you see a completely different person. This is possibly one of the most difficult things that you can do, constantly pushing to recreate yourself. A little while ago, I went through a very obvious example of this, where I was really pushing myself so hard, in fact, that I I went through the night without sleeping at all. I was just working and working and working. I was doing this for maybe a solid week before I kind of challenged my own beliefs on the matter. I realized that I could actually get more work done and more quality work if I focused on improving my sleep and actually sleeping. And as a matter of fact, I did just that. I just recently installed blackout blinds. I worked on making my room more quiet. I got these earplugs so that I could silence out anything that might negatively impact my sleep because I've learned about the importance of it. Now, this is a complete and utter opposite to what I was doing before. Literally not even sleeping. And I feel like this is the same with Bruce Wayne. I mean, it was a complete and opposite 180 going from wanting to kill somebody, having that revolver literally in your hand to having one specific rule and that is never killing anyone as a hardened vigilante vowing that you would never kill. You need to have that ability, the ability to constantly question your beliefs and whether or not they are truly what's best for you, to constantly break off old habits, to replace them with better ones that are good for you. Number three is always making the right choice. Potentially one of Bruce Wayne's greatest qualities is his ability to always make the right choice, even if that means sacrificing his ego his wealth, his relationships, or his reputation. The ending of The Dark Knight is a great example of this, when Harvey Dent turns into Two-Face and goes around killing cops and kidnaps Gordon's family. Batman saves them, but after this, Harvey Dent's reputation would have been destroyed and everything he fought for along with it. Bruce decides to take the blame for everything, stating that he was the one who killed those people. He was the one who kidnapped Gordon's family in order to preserve Harvey Dent's reputation. It's not a choice that many people would make, but it was the right choice. He's completely selfless and puts others before himself time and time again, even when he doesn't have to. He has the ability to kill over and over, but he knows it's not the right thing to do. He is able to control his emotions, even in the heat of battle, and preserves the lives of those who don't necessarily deserve to live. Now, we all want to do the right thing. We all want to do what's good, what's best, but often we'll be criticized for it, we'll be ridiculed for it, so it's a much more difficult thing for us to do. And this is why a lot of people don't want to do that thing, because it's going to have a negative impact on our own lives. But you have to always do the right thing. You have to have high values and high characteristics. It is my opinion that if you want to be somebody like Bruce Wayne, you have to stay in favor with God. And the only way to do that is just to be a good person, to always make the right decisions and to always do the right thing. Number four is journaling. In the new Batman movie, we see Bruce Wayne journaling intensely, going over what happens on a nightly basis to force himself to remember. He writes about the need to push himself further so that he may push fear into the criminals of Gotham who may prey on the weak. This is a form of self-reflection that's incredibly important if you want to push yourself into becoming more like Bruce Wayne. 
I know a lot of guys might say that this is cringe, that this is for sissies, but hear me out. I mean, Bruce Wayne is literally seen journaling nonstop in the movies. He has multiple piles of journals on his desk. And this is absolutely key to improving yourself to a high degree, and I'll explain why. It helps you reflect and gives your mind time to think, separate from the noisiness and the busyness that is life. You can just sit down and focus on the different aspects of your life and question if what you're doing is the right thing and think about how you can improve yourself. It helps you make difficult decisions that you might not want to make. Journaling about different ways to improve yourself and whether or not these things are actually improving you is an insane way to make great progress. It is literally the only way that you can just give your mind time to think. And this is one of the only ways to make progress mentally. Bruce Wayne sees an incredible amount of improvement over any trilogy that he's in. It is clear to see this is why. Whether it's his personality that develops, his relationships, or his skills as bad Batman fighting crime. He is in a constant state of improvement, which is never an easy thing to do. He's constantly seeing flaws in himself and fixing them. Journaling is the best way to do this. Number five, it's meditation. Bruce Wayne has an incredibly high sense of self-control. It is very clear to see with the insane amount of discipline he has. He's able to push himself mentally and physically past his limits day after day. The scars on his back and his arms show you a physical representation of his self-control and discipline. But how does someone develop this? It's not through the body, but through the mind. You must be non-stop pushing your mind and controlling your mind to get things done. Many professional fighters can attest to this. They will tell you that fighting is not not a physical sport, but a mental one. One of the best ways to improve this level of self-control, discipline, and presentness is through meditation, which Bruce Wayne has been shown doing many times. For example, in Batman R.I.P., it's mentioned that Batman has mastered Togo meditation, a Tibetan practice which he uses to experience death, spending 49 days shut in a Nepali cave to overcome his fear. In a flashback sequence during the Court of Owls, he masters Tumo meditation during a nine-month sojourn to the Himalayas, actually managing to melt the ice he's full lotusing on while he sits near naked in sub-zero temperatures. Even in a packed schedule, he has plenty of time for the 5 to 10 minutes most practitioners agree is the minimum for getting results, and he would probably get that time back and improved focus and clarity elsewhere. All it takes to start is 5 minutes of meditation. If you aren't sure how to start, I'll make a video tomorrow on meditation and link it at the end of the video. Number 6 is working out and pushing your body. As someone Someone who's 210 pounds of lean toned muscle mass who has athletic ability endurance flexibility agility durability it's clear to see that this guy puts an insane amount of time into his body but not only that he's mastered the art of pushing his body and this has mental and physical benefits now it's obvious to see that he was not born with these things endurance reflexes the only way to improve yourself to this extent is to train your body and to have an open mind on trying new workout routines it's easy to get stuck in the same routine over and over again and to lose progress you might like only hitting the bench press or only going on runs and maybe you never stretch because you think that's only for sissies but you need to have an open mind and be constantly trying new things and researching the body to learn more about yourself in the physical realm no one who has the physique and athletic ability that bruce wayne has ever got there by chance they put in the time inside the gym and outside the gym learning about their body and pushing themselves and were incredibly consistent with this I even went from thinking that stretching was for sissies to spending countless hours on physiotherapy, doing stretches, and improving my flexibility. Even when I know for a fact that there was absolutely nothing wrong with me. As, <laughs> as far as my body relates to the average body, but I don't see myself as trying to have that. You get a much better understanding of who you are in a physical sense and what your body's capable of. And let me tell you, your body and your mind are incredibly connected. So even if you're not into spending your nights beating the absolute out of shoplifters. It is incredibly important to do this. You're going to have an insanely positive impact on your life. Number six is time. A lot of people look like someone like Bruce Wayne or some colossal figure. Let's say Conor McGregor, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Sylvester Stallone, people like that. All we see are colossal figures, almost not even real people, but what we don't realize is they are just that. They were just men. That's 
it. They had their own constant struggles and it took them a lifetime to achieve what they achieved. Nobody sees what they come from or what they were struggling with during the course of their entire life. We forget that they're all just men and they come from the same place as us. Sylvester Stallone, for example, was 30 years old when he filmed Rocky and he only had $106 in his bank account when he presented the script. And not only that, but before and after that film, he had countless flops. No one remembers any of his failures or the insane amount of time that it took him to get to that first big film. All they see is Rocky and all they see is Rambo. This is where time comes in. If you truly believe that you can achieve something in your life, even if that means becoming as great as someone like Bruce Wayne, it's going to take time and it's going to take countless failures. From the outside, things might look like you have it all figured out. In hindsight, people might see this colossal figure, but you will have to suffer and put in an insane amount of work over an insane amount of time in order to become successful and you need to be willing to commit to that. So many people overestimate what they can achieve in one year and underestimate what they can do with 10. Bruce might seem on the outside like an unstoppable force, a colossal figure. He might seem on the outside like this confident guy that has it all figured out. On the inside, we know that's not true. It even shows it in the movie. You can see how drained and exhausted he really is. He doesn't even try to hide it. For Bruce Wayne, it's always been an uphill battle and I really do believe he has always seen himself as losing it. The only thing that makes him seem like this colossal figure is the fact that he does not give up. I see this in myself so much, and I'm sure you could relate. It seems so many people believe in me, people online that I don't even know. Friends tell me all the time, I'm gonna make it, my videos will blow up, my business will go far. They seem to know this as a fact. But sometimes when I'm in the thick of it, when I'm working incredibly hard, when I'm not making any money day after day, and I'm putting an insane amount of time into this, I don't feel that way. I don't really feel like maybe I won't make it. You know, that's what I feel like. Maybe I won't make it. Maybe this is a waste of time. I don't really feel that confident all the time that I'm going to be this colossal f I think about it all the time. What if I fail? I'm not getting any views. I don't want to work. I don't want to record. I just want to sleep in today and throw all that away. They tell me that they see my drive. They tell me that they see I don't give up. But I think about giving up on a daily basis. And to be honest, some days I do. To tell you the truth, I struggle to keep my head above water. But all they see is that the videos keep coming out. And the subs keep going up slowly, day after day. The only thing that got me to where I I am and the only thing that will get me further is what I told myself I would never do I would never quit I don't care if it takes me 10 years 20 years 30 years or even if I don't make it and I die in the process I will never quit what I'm pursuing I think beneath the surface beneath the money beneath the muscle the strength the intelligence if you want to become Bruce Wayne the only thing that you need to do is to never quit Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to sub and join our self-improvement discord for free links in the description. One more thing, check out my first Bruce Wayne video that I made a year ago. Thanks and bye.